We return to Magallanes to a hero's welcome <laughs> and started prepping immediately for our return to Tierra del Fuego. After relaxing and waiting on the weather a couple days, I hate the wind and I hate you. <laughs> that order. <laughs> we departed with Diego for his inaugural moto camping excursion. Pounding a windy Ruta 9, we topped off the tanks before jumping on Ruta 255 along the shores of the Strait of Magellan to Estancia San Gregorio. The first Estancia in all of Patagonia, established in 1976, Gregorio has largely been abandoned since the 70s and now used only occasionally for shearing sheep. Although you wouldn't know it, based upon the tons upon tons of seemingly discarded wool and the stench of stale death <coughs> that permeates this giant, impressively built structure. After a clandestine tour of the facilities, we headed to the shores of the strait to explore the likewise long abandoned hulls of rotting European vessels from the late 19th century. Returning to the bikes, those of us without Gore-Tex were forced to don hefty bag rain gear for the wet ride to Punta Delgada and the ferry to the land of fire. <laughs> That's a good look. <laughs> now it works. You can kind of see. Basically, it's a straight shot down 257, and that's gravel, of course. Yes. Camry. And then the next gas is Rustin. So, so from here to Camry, the 130 kilometers. Stopping in Cerro Sombrero to study the map, the boys discuss the day's route and our limited options for fuel, while I quite literally picked my nose. We continued south across the northern half of the island in heavy winds before finally hitting Ripio. With the sound of loose gravel beneath our tires, we skirted Bahia Inutil, aka Useless Bay, en route to Cameron, a tiny hamlet nestled in a wide river valley and our destination for the night. Yeah, you look pretty comfortable back there. Yeah? Yeah? yeah I prefer the dirt, I will say. Yeah. This is the store in town. The supermarket. Yeah, this is it. This is all I got. After discovering both the local supermarket and the campground closed, a couple of Bacchianos kindly pointed the way to the owner's house, and we set up shop for our first night on the island, safe from the rain in our quincho, down by the river.
<laughs> what? <laughs> That's a good look. <laughs> you got some coffee? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> After gearing up and topping off the tanks, we departed Cameron southbound along the remote and seldom traveled coastal route. Alternating between native forest along the western flanks of Parque Kiruquinca and the coast, we picked our way through fresh road base and leapfrogged gate duties. Stopping occasionally to harass the hapless wildlife we found along the trail. <laughs> you got him! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, wait, I don't want to touch him. Oh, no, he's fine. Did he bite? He hasn't tried yet. Hi, baby. Two years ago, this section of road was a steep, rutted mess but has since been fixed by concealing said ruts beneath a thick layer of alluvial topsoil, otherwise known as sand and silt, which didn't really help matters much. I think this is one of the most beautiful roads I've ever done. Nice. And I, I've been exploring most of Patagonia, but this road is amazing. I told you, man. It looks like the central coast of California in a lot of spots. Are you bragging about being American, huh? <laughs> the death dust, as Chad dubbed it, simply filled and hid the ruts, which may serve those traveling this road on four wheels, but certainly not those of us on two. Reaching the tidal river crossing at Rio Coleta, our previous stopping point, and the site of a proposed bridge, we were blessed with an abnormally low tide and launched headlong into fresh road construction, where Diego promptly launched headlong onto the beach. Oh no! Goes down. One, two, three, go. Right? Yeah. Fucking you right. You ready? One, two, three. Wait. 
wait, 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 wait. Let me move this rock. Yeah, let me get that one first. If you had one on your rear that you were sliding on. Okay. One, two, three, go! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Rendered helpless against the unholy union of baby heads and wet sand, the boys both broke a proper sweat getting the Vosges back on the trail, where more rough roads, death dust, gates, and mud awaited us as we continued into unknown territory. Hold on! Puerto Yarto, our destination for the day, and home to Rodrigo and Tati, longtime friends of Diego, lies a scant 60 kilometers south of Cameron. Upon hearing of our plans, Rodrigo gleefully informed Diego that the road had recently been repaired, and on motorcycles, the journey would take no longer than 60 minutes. Two hours later, Yarto was nowhere in sight. So we've got a slight logistical issue. What? We've already been riding for two hours. And we still don't reach anywhere. And we still haven't reached the place, and we got to be back there at four, and it's two now. In, in order to make Rusfin by five. Either, so. either that or we just end up spending another night in Cameron. Not a bad little spot at all. My goodness. Deciding to abandon our plans to backtrack to Rusfin, the only gas available in southern Chilena, Tierra del Fuego, we stopped for lunch. Diego's new water bottle has been properly broken in. Baby head. Baby head. Baby head bottle. <laughs> and a few of Chad's signature slow motion ride bys. Okay, this video is running long and we have to get to the cliffhanger, so after lunch, back on the bikes, through a few more gates and another long coastal sequence, we finally arrived at Puerto Yarto, where Diego inexplicably fell off his bike and were warmly received by Rodrigo and Tati. After some great conversation, a couple cups of coffee, and a tour of this historic estancia and former lumber mill, we were back on the bikes for the long journey back to Cameron. A bit more coastal footage, another gate, some rutted uphill, a bit more loose downhill footage, Another gate. Chad and Diego ride through a big puddle. Some rocks. 
Diego's baby heads. Chad riding like a dork. Ah, oh, the cliffhanger. Pulling over to allow me to open a gate, Chad used the opportunity to remove his rain jacket, and Diego used the opportunity to get on the throttle. When out of the corner of his eye, Chad saw Diego airborne. You all right, dude? So for those of you following along at home who've been requesting maps, here was our route covered in this video. We started our day in Natalis, heading south on Ruta 9 to Ruta 255, where we stopped at Estancia San Gregorio before taking the ferry from Punta Delgada to Tierra del Fuego. Stopping briefly in Cerro Sombrero to plan our route for the day, we proceeded to Cameron, where we spent the night, before continuing south along the coast to Puerto Yarto and backtracking to Cameron, where Diego took a dirt sample. <laughs> 